What's up everybody, professional wrestler Chris Wild here with another video on my YouTube channel dedicated to the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm just trying to keep track of all the news and keep you guys up to date with some of the things that have been happening with the Eagles. Um, there's been a bunch of it the past couple days as we get ready for the free agent period, uh, the free agency period I should say. Next week, Monday, begins legal tampering. Um, kind of an oxymoron, but it's basically when teams can talk and start talking to free agents. Uh, so today, um, the Eagles restructured the contract to Lane Johnson. The specifics of the contract and the numbers are not known to the media yet, but it will save some money um, on the Eagles' salary cap, which they desperately need. Uh, they've done this um, in the past. They've done this with players this year. They did it with Rodney McLeod earlier in the offseason process. They also uh, declined the option on Tim Jernigan, so he's a, he's a defensive tackle. Um, he will not be back as a Philadelphia Eagle. Uh, obviously, they can't afford him, and with the surplus of, of tackles in this draft uh, this coming year, I think that's where they'll go there. Some other things that I heard and have read um, was that the Eagles were shopping around uh, Michael Bennett, another defensive tackle, uh, an all-pro. He was one of my favorite players last year. Um, I loved the uh, tag team of him and Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham. I mean, it, he kind of uh, made that a really scary line. And he always showed up in, in big games. Um, however, he has a $7.2 million cap hit this year. So the Eagles, I guess, trying to see if they might be able to trade him away, get some compensation somehow. Can't fault them for that. Um, either way, uh, you know, I'll be happy. Again, uh, love to have Michael Bennett here. But if the Eagles can get some cap space to do some bigger things, I mean, I'll, do, I'll take that too. So now, I mean, we're kind of looking at what does this all mean? Um, what are they going to use this, this, this cap money for? I have a feeling that it's for something big. I think they might go after somebody big. We all know that Antonio Brown, wide receiver of the Pittsburgh Steelers, is trying to get traded. Um, the Eagles have a big need at wide receiver. They really don't have a number two guy. I'm not sure what they're going to do with Nelson Aguilar. I'm sure he'll be another restructured signing coming up, if I was to guess. Um, and the Eagles need a wide receiver. And Antonio Brown, uh, you know, yeah, he's a diva wide receiver. I mean, a lot of them are. But this dude is a superstar. He's a game changer. I could just imagine Alshon Jeffrey on one side, Antonio Brown on the other, uh, Nelly in the slot. Um, you know, you got Zach and Dallas as your tight ends. I mean, that's that could be a potent and scary offense or they could be doing what a lot of people are predicting and that is uh, trying to get Le'Veon Bell trying to sign free agent running back Le'Veon Bell I'm on the fence with this um, he's a superstar uh, and I would love to have him on my team again a game changer dynamic receiver dynamic running back he does have his injury issues and he was just off a year of football um, and he's gonna be expensive so you know, those you take all that into account. Uh, what I like to have him here, I would love it. I would love to have Le'Veon Bell in that backfield. I've said in other videos that one thing that the Eagles were lacking and Carson was lacking last year was a run game. Jay Ajayi got hurt early. Uh, Corey Clement just wasn't right. He had a quad injury that kind of lingered throughout the whole year before finally taking its toll and taking him out. Josh Adams was hit or miss. I was a guy that wanted Josh Adams to get more touches. I was that guy that was on Twitter saying, hey, Doug put Josh in because it seemed like every time he touched the ball, you know, he things happened, good things happened. And uh, his highlight reel um, from Notre Dame was off the charts. Um, however, he fumbled the ball in Houston. And uh, after that, I think he saw one carry and uh, he was gone. He was done. They didn't use him anymore. So there's a big need at running back. I mean, Le'Veon Bell, if you, if you take him and uh, draft a rookie running back, you still have Corey Clement. Josh and Wendell Smallwood can fight for a spot. I think you can do some things there. Um, but again, your options are open, man. You don't really have to go that expensive. Um, you don't, you know, the Eagles have proved they don't have to have a star, you know, game-changing running back to win the Super Bowl. I liked the balance that they had the year that they won the Super Bowl with LeGarrette Blunt, um, Jay Ajayi, Corey Clement. I mean, it was just a great rotation. Um, my perfect running back is a is a guy like Garrett Blunt, who, you know, just looking through the highlights 
of of some of that season in 2017, man, he there were times when he would just run guys over. And I love that. I love a back that can just run downhill and just go head on head with a dude and throw him to the ground, you know, humiliate the defense. Um, I think I like that more than that, that elusive Shady McCoy type running back. I mean, we had Shady, and I don't even believe we won a, a playoff game with him. I could be wrong, but... So yeah, there are guys out there, and I might as well talk about it now. I wanted to do a, another video about uh, some of my um, wants at running back as far as free agency goes. Um, the big names out there are Mark Ingram and Tevin Coleman. Um, Mark Ingram, I don't know if I'll ever be able to uh, put aside my hate for him as being a New Orleans Saint, but hey, when you're in Philly, you're, you're, you're a Philly dude, and uh, I definitely love his run style. So I mean, again, you put him in there and get some other pieces around him. I think it could be big. Uh, I'm also not um, I'm not a guy that doesn't want JGI back. I mean, I think if you get him on a prove me deal, a cheap one year contract, um, since he you know was pretty much hurt all year last year, uh, you get him in the mix with some other guys. I think that could help. And then, but my biggest want at running back is Tevin Coleman. You know, I watched Tevin Coleman in Atlanta last year, and this guy can again he can catch. He's perfect for Doug Peterson's offense. He can catch the ball. Um, he can he can be a power back. Uh, he, there's a little. There were a couple games where he went out for some injuries, but I mean, this dude is. I think he's ready to take a, a role, a lead role in an offense. Um, he kind of had to do that last year with Devontae Freeman being injured a lot. It, this dude, he just screams at uh, Eagles Doug Peterson type of running back. I'd love to see him in Eagle Green. There are also a bunch of guys in the draft that I like. So again, with the options that you have, you don't have to go high on Le'Veon Bell. Now, if Howie Roseman can flex his muscles and get Le'Veon at an affordable price and still be able to do some other things because there are some holes on this team. There's some uh, offensive line needs, defensive line needs. I think they need another safety. Um, and there's a list of free agent safeties um, out there this year. Uh, so there are some needs there besides running back. So, again, Le'Veon Bell, superstar. being rec He's been recruited officially by the newest Philadelphia star athlete, Bryce Harper, as Bryce has reached out to him on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, so it seems like a match made in heaven to me. I just want to be able to get the other needs that we need as well. However, in saying that, I will say this. They need to put the best offense they can around Carson Wentz. He, they need to give him some more weapons. He definitely needs a running game. He needs another passing option. Le'Veon Bell checks both those boxes. So if you need to bring Le'Veon in, if you can get him at that, that price, Howie, flex those muscles, bring Le'Veon Bell to Philly. Um, I would like it, but let's just make sure the rest of the team doesn't suffer. Um, and that's just about the, the news. Uh, I don't know if I'm leaving anything out. If I am, I'm sorry. But I think that's all the news that, uh, that I've come across the past couple days. Again, they're getting ready for free agency. You can tell by the little things they're doing to try to save money. The newest one, Lane Johnson, restructuring his contract today. So uh, everybody have a good night. Go Birds. I'll be back. I want to cut a video about some of my uh, draft, draft prospects um, as this is a fun time of the year. Um, with the draft a couple months away, and I, I've got some, some real stars and some real diamonds in the rough that I think the Eagles could get their hands on. Take it easy. Go Birds.